live from the 107th floor of the Cat Country 107.3 studios, just outside beautiful Atlantic City, New Jersey. It's the Joe and Shauna Sunrise Challenge. It's your chance to fire up your brain and show South Jersey exactly who you are. Now, here are your hosts, Joe and Shauna. Shauna, who's our contestant? On the phone, we've got Mark from Pleasantville. Hey, Mark, thanks for joining us in Cat Country 107.3. Hi, Mark. Good morning, how are you? Good, we got a question for you, but before we get to the actual competition, we got a practice question for you, so no points involved or anything like that. You're, are you ready for your practice question, Mark? I'm ready to go. All so, right. Tell us about your worst haircut ever. Oh, my worst cut, haircut ever. Quite a few years ago, I got long hair. Uh-oh. The last haircut I had, my buddy calls himself an inspiring barber. <laughs> we were going out. We were going out for the night and probably should have got to him before we had a few drinks first. <laughs> <laughs> he, forgot <to> put, <laughs> he forgot to put the clipper guard on. No! It was bald on one side. So... Yeah, that's, that's probably the worst one ever. Fold on the side? Ouch. How long did it take to grow back? Uh, I was out of commission about two, three weeks. No! Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Mar- Mark, are you blowing leaves or something right now? You sound like you're working. Okay. Are you working? Yeah, I'm getting back to my truck right now. All right. I can tell. I oh, can sounds tell. Sounds like he's in a sawmill, maybe. I love it. Right. That's All a, a man hard at work. Love to hear it. All right, Mark, you ready for your, your question? You're going to have 10 seconds to answer. And I need you to name five things. I'm going to tell you what you need to do first, and then I'll repeat it, and then I'll say go, and you'll have 10 seconds. Are you ready, Mark? Go for it. Here it is, the Cat Country Sunrise Challenge. Mark, name five female country singers that we oh. play on Cat Country, but not Reba McIntyre. Female. Again, name five uh, female country singers, but not Reba McIntyre. Go. Miranda Lambert. Yeah. Uh, Kelly Clarkson. She kind of counts. Mm-hmm. Uh, she- she wears bell bottoms, Mark. She wears bell bottoms. Oh, I'm sorry, Mark. Oh, <laughs> uh, good job, Mark. For, for the record, we don't play any Kelly Clark. Well, the for national the Jason, anthem. And the Jason Aldean song. Oh, we yeah, to maybe. Play. Mark, yeah, Mark to thanks play. for playing the uh, Sunrise Challenge with us. Have a great day. Uh, thank you, too. This has been the Joe and Shauna Sunrise Challenge from Cat Country 107.3. <laughs> It's Cat Country 107.3. Mornings with Joe and Jana. It is a Wednesday morning. You know what Wednesday is, Jana? It's hump day. It's yeah. also Good News Wednesday. And well, listen to this. Yes. It's three months until Christmas. I yes. can't believe it. I don't want to talk about it. Today is also Cooking Day, Food Service Employees Day, Lobster Day, Ooh. Quesadilla Day, Women's Health and Fitness Day, World Dream Day, yeah. World Pharmacist Day. And the reason for the excitement, World School Milk Day. You remember the little cartons that they used to give you? I don't think they do that anymore. Yeah, chocolate they? and vanilla yeah, back in the did. day. I was raised on Route 3, out past where the black top ends. We'd walk to church on Sunday morning, race barefoot back to Johnson Spence. That's where I first saw Mary. On that roadside picking blackberries That summer I turned a corner in my soul Cheevers, I've heard. I've come to know there's life.
WPUR Atlantic City is Cat Country 107.3, a town square media station serving South Jersey and available on the Cat Country 107.3 app. Here in America, work is in trouble. We've offshored our manufacturing, sent away good jobs, and lost so much ability to make things. American Giant is pushing back against that tide. They make high-quality clothing for a summer wardrobe you'll love, all made right here in the USA. Support America's workers and get 20% off your first order at American-Giant.com with code STAPLE20. That's 20% off your first order at American-Giant.com, code STAPLE20. Good morning, we're Joe and Jana. Here are three things you need to know this morning. Armed robbery in downtown Abseekin Monday night. Police say a man brandished a knife and demanded money from a business owner who was able to flee the establishment unharmed. The suspect then fled on foot. Absecan police have a description of the suspect. You can find it on the Cat Country 107.3 app. I just need the jackpot. Cheat, cheat. Easy money. Have you ever been to an Atlantic City casino and thought, let me just put some quarters in here. Just see what happens. A woman did that last weekend at the Hard Rock. She put in three seventy-five, dollars 75 and $3.75 cents into a slot machine. She won $415,000. Yeah. And if you're looking for the luckiest casinos in Atlantic City, check out Caesars and Borgata. That declaration is not really based on fact, but a study on a study which looked at over 100,000 online reviews of casinos. So, yes, gambling is still a gamble. <laughs> and your South Jersey weather for today, it'll be mostly cloudy with a chance of scattered light rain, high of 70. Weather brought to you by Atlantic City Electric. Storm season is here. Atlantic City Electric knows a little storm prep makes a big difference. See how you can stay connected during storms and prepare to weather any weather at AtlanticCityElectric.com slash storm prep. Good morning. We're Joe and Jana. It's time now for Jana's Fan Girl Update. Well, we're talking about the nominations for the 2024 CMA Awards. They are out. And once again, the race for Entertainer of the Year includes country's biggest names. This year's CMA Entertainer nominees include Luke Combs, Jelly Roll, Chris Stapleton, Morgan Wallen, and Lainey Wilson. Lainey's the current reigning Entertainer of the Year, and she has very specific ideas regarding who should get the award this year. She says Jelly Roll deserves the title. So does Morgan Wallen. She said even Miranda Lambert should be nominated in Lainey's book. She's talking Entertainer of the Year nominations right now. CatCountry1073.com Speaking of Miranda Lambert, she was on the Kelly Clarkson show yesterday to talk about life, her new music, her new album, Postcards from Texas, everything in between. They wound up singing a few songs together and the internet is freaking out. I am too. They were just so... Good. They sang Miranda Lambert's No Man's Land and new artist Chapel Roan's song, Good Luck Babe. We've got that performance up for you right now on the Cat Country 107.3 app. That's Jana's fangirl update on Cat Country. This most interesting thing I, I, I found this week. Imagine being a child, uh-huh. getting kidnapped, and then living your entire life without away from your family. Oh, well, I sounds like imagine a dream. that. Most likely it sounds like a dream. Well, you know, people get kidnapped. You know, yeah, whatever happens. That's terrifying. Happened. Louis Albino. That's was his abduct- last name? 
Why would I make it up? It's just an interesting name. <laughs> That's all. Louis Albino was abducted at the age of six from his home in Oakland, California, from oh. a, a park near his home. In 1951, he's been missing over 70 years. He's just been found by his family. That's crazy. His niece played a crucial role in this search for her long-lost uncle. After taking an online DNA test for fun in 2020, she discovered a match that led her to Albino. With the help of law enforcement agencies, they were able to locate him on the East Coast and bring him back to Oakland to reunite with his family. In June of last year, the FBI facilitated a reunion in Oakland between Albino and his family, including his older brother, Roger, who was with him on the day of the abduction. Unfortunately, since then, Roger has passed away, but they had a chance to meet. Wow. Do they? He lived a whole life, re- re- retired firefighter in Marine Corps. He said he remembers as a child. Again, he was six, when he, so he doesn't have a lot of memories. Yeah. He asked questions, but no one ever told him the truth. So he really never knew. For 70 years... I feel like it's six you remember getting snatched, though. He remembers getting snatched, you said? He remembers something. I mean, it wasn't like somebody grabbed him. They just kind of politely said, come with us. Yeah. You know, like they threw him in the back of a trunk. That's awful. Yeah, Cat Catcher, going to 7.3 mornings with Joe and John. I saying congratulations to Jordan McFadden, Jackie Allen, Tina Hawkins, Phil Whitler, Dave Honor, Joy Barber, some of our latest cash cow winners. Nice. Cash cow, $30,000 is the top prize we're playing for with cash winners every day. Ten cash winners every day. Ten chances to play every day. You can do it. First chance will be at 820 this morning. Country 107.3 mornings with Joe and John. Time now for your Cat Country Joke of the Morning. Brought to you by East Coast Roofing, Siding, and Windows. If you call, they'll show up. EastCoastRoofing.com. David lives in Ocean City and has sent us the joke this morning. Says this is the first time he's ever sent in a joke. Oh, cool, we David. appreciate it, David. Thank you so much. Yesterday, I went to the doctor for my yearly physical. My blood pressure was high. My cholesterol was high. I gained some weight, and I didn't feel so hot. Doesn't sound great. My doctor said that eating right doesn't have to be complicated and would solve my physical problems. He said, just think in colors. Fill your plate with bright colors, greens, yellows, reds. So I went home and ate an entire bowl of M&M's, and sure enough, I do feel better. (laughs) Wow. Well, if it works for you, sure. Recommended by seven out of eight doctors. Cat Country 10. It's Wednesday. You know what that means. Good news Wednesday. We want to hear about your good news and share your good news. We've had enough of the bad news. What's your good news? 609-383-1073, or you can message us on the Cat Country 107.3 app. Hit the message us button. Good news Wednesday. We'll dish out your good news coming up at 720. Cat Country 107.3 mornings with Joe and Jana. Time now for your Cat Country dumb story of the morning. All righty, where are we going? We're going to the World Wide Web. Um, I'm an idiot, and here's why. My laundry machine takes quarters. Huh? Naturally, I'm like, where does one just get quarters? Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go on Amazon. No. And buy quarters. You can buy, like, rolls of quarters on Amazon. I'm like, perfect, I'll do that. <laughs> and it was like, 72 rolls for $10? That That's a score. Like, I'm getting, like, I'm like, okay, stupid. Amazon's losing money. Get the package. Empty. It's just 72 plain quarter roll sleeves with no quarters in them. I don't really know what I was thinking. Ladies and gentlemen. That is your dumb story of the morning. I have no <laughs> words. Waking up with Joe and Shauna, Cat Country 107.3. Morning, we're Joe and John. Things you need to know this morning. Armed robbery in downtown Abseekin Monday night. Police say a man brandished a knife and demanded money from a business owner who was able to flee the establishment unharmed. The suspect then fled on foot. Abseekin police have a description of the suspect. You can find it on the Cat Country 107.3 app. I the jackpot. Ching, ching. Easy money. Have you ever been to an Atlantic City casino and thought, let me just put some quarters in here. Just see what happens. A woman did that last weekend at the Hard Rock. She put in three seventy-five, dollars 75 and $3.75 into a slot machine. She won $415,000. Yeah. And if you're looking for the luckiest casinos in Atlantic City, check out Caesars and Borgata. That declaration is not really based on fact, but a study on a study which looked at over 100,000 online reviews of casinos. So, yes, gambling is still a gamble. <laughs> and your South Jersey weather for today, it'll be mostly cloudy with a chance of scattered light rain, high of 70. 
Weather brought to you by Atlantic City Electric. Storm season is here. Atlantic City Electric knows a little storm prep makes a big difference. See how you can stay connected during storms and prepare to weather any weather at AtlanticCityElectric.com slash storm prep. Jana, Cat Country Morning Birthday shout outs start right now. Here we go. It seems like she was just born about three weeks ago, but my daughter Devin is 33 years old today. Oh, Devin, happy birthday. Happy birthday. And since she's related, thus once again, ineligible to win the big birthday shout out today. So, happy birthday. But we love you anyway. Happy birthday to Brian Dahlman, who's 60. Jennifer from Bridgeton celebrates today. Nikki Marsteller of Galloway is 40. Larry Hallman of Mystic Islands is 64 today. Happy birthday, Larry. Larry, happy birthday. Rachel from Ocean City is 36. Jack Hewitt of Galloway celebrates today. It's Caitlin Accord's birthday. She's from Mays Lanning. She's 39. Caitlin, happy birthday. Frank Brill of North Cape May is 37. Carter Brandenburger of Linwood is nine today. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Carter. I think it's Brandon Burger. It might just be Brandon Berg. I can't read my writing. But it is Carter. And he's yeah, nine. It's Carter. Joe Merlo of Egg Harbor Township is 61. All Wendy right, Dorfman of Hamilton is 53. Happy birthday, Janice from Corbin City. She's 43. Bill Warren Jr. of Petersburg is 39. Sharon Wardrop of Whiting is 56. Christy Troster of Ocean City is 39. Happy birthday. We missed you. Happy one you as well. The recipient of our Cat Country Big Birthday shout out today, Caitlin Accord of Mays Landing. She's 39. With Joe and Jana, it's Wednesday morning. Good news. A little good news today. Yeah. It's good news Wednesday. We want to share your good news. You can get it to us at 609 383 1073 or hit the message us button on the Cat Country 107.3 app. We heard from Caitlin in Egg Harbor Township on our app. Caitlin says, we have a brand new washer and dryer. Oh, no more yeah. laundry mat. That is, that is that's the best. a win for you sure. You can stop going to the laundry mat. Yeah, that's amazing. We've got Kelly from Alloy. You can do the laundry in your underwear and no one cares. Yeah. Oh, that's the best part. Oh my gosh, are you serious? You can take off the clothes you're wearing and throw them in and the throw laundry. Them right in. And no one cares. That's so true. Kelly from Alloy messaged us on Facebook. From where? Alloway. Oh, Alloway. Alloway. Yeah, not Galloway. Alloway. No, I thought you said Alloy. L- oh, no. Like out there in I know Salem Alloway County, I think. It's Somewhere. On, it's on that one route. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you know what it is. Anyway, she said, she said, she said we- weird flex, but it's definitely good news for me. They were able to restock her medicine that she desperately huh. needed. She won her battle with insurance. Good. That's a, that's a win. I'm going to say that is good news. So go ahead, 609 383 or hit the message us button on the Cat Country 107.3 app. Cat Country 107.3 mornings with Joe and Jonna. Cat Country morning trivia coming up in about 15 minutes. We got tickets to Gold Over America Tour starring Simone Biles. It's going to be in Philadelphia at the Wells Fargo Center Friday, October 4th. Your chance to win tickets in just about 15 minutes here at Cat Country 107.3. Sure could use a little good news today. We're sharing your good news this morning, 609-383-1073, or you can hit the message us button on the Cat Country 107.3 app. Eric, Erica, you're up next. Um, I'm calling in with good, my good news for Wednesday. I got engaged last Wednesday. Oh, oh congratulations. that's so beautiful. <laughs> yes, I'm very excited. <laughs> Did you set a date? I know some people do really quickly. Um, we don't have a date yet. That's still kind of up in the air. <laughs> well, it's still beautiful news. If you need a flower girl, I'm open. Joe's wow. a ring bearer. <laughs> no. We have you covered. Oh, of course, Donna. You can be our flower girl. Yes. <laughs> and what's, what's, what's your uh, beloved's name? Uh, James Gold. James so, Gold. So, so it's a boy and you're a girl. Okay. Well, it's 2024, yeah. so... <laughs> we thought we'd just ask. Country 107.3 Mornings with Joe and Jana. Cash Cow is back today. Ten chances to win up to $30,000. First chance will be at 8.20 this morning. Right now, Cat Country Morning Trivia is on the air. I the- love this prize, too. Phone number is 609-383-1073 or hit the call us button on the Cat Country 107.3 app. Today's okay. prize? Yeah, now that that's out of the way, go ahead. Four tickets to Gold Over America Tour starring Simone Biles. How cool is that? Simone Biles is coming to the area. You get to, to go see her. show you her gold medal. That's cool. And perform some gymnastics stuff. I think that's so cool. <laughs> Friday, October 24th at 7.30. Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia. Tickets available, by the way, at wellsfargocenterphilly.com. But if you win trivia, you've got four tickets to Friday, October 4th, 7.30. Gold over America. Here's the question. It's expected 
75% of the world's population will be doing this at 4 p.m. Eastern time today. It's expected 75% of the world's population will be doing this at 4 p.m. Eastern time today. Listening to Chris Coleman. Yes, On waiting the for ride-up. cash cow code number nine. Yes. No, that's not it. Oh. 75% of the world's population will be doing this at 4 p.m. today. 3107.3. Mornings with Joe and Jonna. Trivia on the air. At stake, four tickets to Gold Over America Tour, starring Simone Biles. Happening in Philadelphia at the Wells Fargo Center Friday, October 4th. When you win trivia, you got four tickets this morning. That's going to be so cool. She's going to be flipping in front of you and doing like all the fun stuff. Somersaults. Yeah, everything she did in Paris. Fun flips. That's going to be awesome. She's going to roll this way. She's going to roll that way. (laughs) She's going to jump up. She's going to jump in the air. She's going to do it all. Do it all. I should be the gymnastics play by play. Uh, You you should. So she just jumped in the air. She just jumped in there. Oh, she landed. I think you'd be great. 75% of the world's population will be doing this at 4 p.m. Eastern time today. It's not gymnastics. Hi, Cat Country. Eating dinner? No, that's not it. Thank you. That's early. Four to be eating dinner? Eastern time. Oh, yeah. So it means it would be four minus three would be three, two. That would be one o'clock in California. Yeah. You know what I mean? Different time all around the world. Yeah. Hi, Cat Country. Uh, hi, do you have the answer? Uh, the answer, uh, driving home from work? No, that's not it. Thank you. Again, 75% of the world's population will be doing this at 4 p.m. Eastern time. But, like, it won't be 4 p.m. Eastern time everywhere in the world. Right. Got it. Yes, yeah, it'll be Got 4 it. p.m. Eastern time. Right, right, But it right. won't be 4 p.m. <laughs> their time. Right. <laughs> I think I just gave the question away. Did you? Hi, Cat Country. What's your answer? Hi, the check their email. No, that's not it. Thank you. Hi, Cat Country. What's your answer? Driving home from work. No, that's not it. Thank you. Hi, Cat Country. What's your answer? Is it sleeping? Yes, you're a winner. <gasps> oh, yay. Wow. What's your name? Katie. Katie, where are you from? Galloway. Was that just a good guess? Uh, I know. I'd like to be... Country 107.3. Mornings with Joe and Jana. People leaving for work right now. Ladies, when your man comes home from work, will you be ready for him? What does that mean? I found a home economics textbook from the 1950s. That was really a class. My mom said she took that before, but I didn't know what the heck she meant. Yeah. They they like cooked and like told you like all about. How to sew on a button. Yeah. 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 Uh, The fascinating womanhood way to welcome a man when he comes home from work. I'm already annoyed. I I think we need to reenact these today. I'm already annoyed. So here are the instructions. Get your work done. Plan your tasks with an eye on the clock. Finish or interrupt them an hour before your man is expected home. Have dinner ready. Plan ahead, even the night before, to have a delicious meal on time. Yeah, right. Don't text him and say, what do you want for dinner? This is a way of letting him know you've been thinking about him and are concerned about his needs. Most men are hungry when they come home, and the prospects of a good meal are part of the warm welcome needed. Some other tips from the 1950s on how to welcome home your man from work. Ladies, put these into effect this evening. Take 15 minutes to rest so you'll be refreshed when he arrives. Oh, my God. (laughs) This will also make you happy to see him instead of too tired to care. Turn off the worry and be glad to be alive and grateful for the man who's going to walk in. While you're resting, you can be thinking about all the things you can do to make him happy and give his spirits a lift. When you arrive, take care of your appearance, touch up your makeup, put a ribbon in your hair and be fresh looking. He's just been with a lot of work weary people. Be a little gay and a little more interest, inter- interesting. His boring day may need a lift. Other ways to welcome home your husband from the 1950s? <laughs> Minimize all noise. Especially give heed to this if your husband had to go through rush hour traffic. At the time of his arrival, eliminate noise of washer, dryer, dishwasher, or vacuum. Try to encourage the children to shut up at the time of their father's arrival. Oh, my. Be glad to see him. God. Greet him with a warm smile and act glad to see him. We're not to done. Tell him that it's good to have him home. This will make his whole day worthwhile. If there is romance left in you, he needs it now. Yeah. Also, don't. Don't greet him with problems and complaints. Solve the problems you can before he gets home. I'm so annoyed. Save those you must discuss with him until later in the evening. Make him comfortable. Have him lean back into a comfortable chair or suggest he lie down in the bedroom. Have a cool or warm drink ready for him. Arrange his pillow. Offer to massage his neck and shoulders and take off his shoes. 
Make, what? Make he the, can't take off his own shoes? All that, and the rough, man can't take rough, off his own it's shoes? It's a rough life in the 1950s. Oh, my gosh. Make the evening his. Never complain if he does not take you out to dinner or to other places of entertainment. What? Instead, try to understand this world of strain and pressure. Yeah. His need to be home and to relax. Yeah. Finally, the goal. Try to make your home a place of peace and order where your husband can renew himself in body and spirit. Then add to this the application of all principles of fascinating womanhood, and your husband will be want be, will want to come home. He will rather be with you than with anyone else in the world, and will spend whatever time he can possibly spare with you. Now, okay, you said That's all that. That's how to welcome us home. Yeah, right. This is when women, the majority of women, weren't working, right? Right. Because, like, I work longer than my boyfriend. So, like, where's You're my home at dinner? 11 o'clock in the morning. No, I'm not. You would know you, that's not you true. You have plenty of time. You know that's you not true. You have plenty of time to get ready. I work from like. Where put a bow on your in your hair. Probably like three o'clock. Yeah, right. Get the heck out of here. Where's my dinner? And my foot rub. Get the heck out of here. Absolutely not. So the, I, but you have to think about the fact that this was the time when most women didn't work. That's crazy that you said all that because my grandma, if she was still alive, she, she probably be, did this. She would be 102 right yeah, now. Yeah, my parents are a little bit older, so my grandparents are older. And you know what? And that's exactly what she did. And I used to be like, oh, and you know girl. What? And you know what? Your, your grandparents were happy. Well. Your grandfather was relaxed. Well. See? <laughs> I don't know that, but. We need, we need to turn the clock. Good morning. We're Joe and Jana. Here are three things you need to know this morning. Armed robbery in downtown Abseekin Monday night. Police say a man brandished a knife and demanded money from a business owner who was able to flee the establishment unharmed. The suspect then fled on foot. Abseekin police have a description of the suspect. You can find it on the Cat Country 107.3 app. Why does he the jackpot? Cheating, cheating. Easy money. Have you ever been to an Atlantic City Casino and thought, let me just put some quarters in here, just see what happens? A woman did that last weekend at the Hard Rock. She put in three seventy-five, dollars 75 and in $3.75 into a slot machine. She won $415,000. Yeah. And if you're looking for the luckiest casinos in Atlantic City, check out Caesars and Borgata. That declaration is not really based on fact, but a study on a study which looked at over 100,000 online reviews of casinos. So, yes, gambling is still a gamble. <laughs> and your South Jersey weather for today, it'll be mostly cloudy with a chance of scattered light rain, high of 70. Weather brought to you by Atlantic City Electric. Storm season is here. Atlantic City Electric knows a little storm prep makes a big difference. See how you can stay connected during storms and prepare to weather any weather at AtlanticCityElectric.com slash storm prep. Cat Country 107.3, mornings with Joe and John. And time now for my favorite tweets for the last 24 hours. Here we go. There are five of them. Number one, there should be a Yelp rating for people. Uh, uh. We kind of have that. It's social media. Two. <laughs> the first day of fall is special because it's almost time for wearing dogs on sweaters. Wearing dogs on sweaters. Swe- sweaters with dogs. Pictures on them. Sure. Yeah. I would wear my dogs on my on a sweater. Yeah, your dogs. Well, Any like dogs. a picture Any of a sweater them. with a dog yeah. on it. Not I'd a probably do of a that dog. too. That's fine. Number three. I'll just complain for months about the thousands of Old Navy emails I get instead of taking two seconds to click the unsubscribe button. Absolutely, but then sometimes the deals really are good. Number four, based on how many sports teams are named, or based on how so many sports teams are named, people must have been terrified of birds in the early 1900s. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. There are a lot, actually. Eagles, Falcons. And, yeah. We're Joe and John. Seahawks. These are my favorite tweets. Last one, number five. All it takes is people. Point three mornings with Joe and Jana. It is time. It is time for Cash Cow. Ten times today, 20 minutes past the hour from now through 5.20 p.m. every hour. We're going to give you a code. You're going to take that code, go to the Cat Country 107.3 app, click on the button that says win $30,000 cash. You got this. I believe in you. The more codes you catch, the better chance of winning free money. We've got 10 cash winners every day and, of course, the top $30,000 grand prize. The code this time around is 736. 736. That's the code that you need right now, 736. And you're going to tap on the win $30,000 button. It's right there on the Cat Country 107.3 app. You're going to type in 736, and then you're going to be back here. Make sure, best thing for you to do is not even leave. 920, we're going to give you the next code of the morning. 936 is the one you need right now. You're on your way to 7. Oh, I lied. 736. 736. 7, 7, 7, 3, 6. 7, 3, 6, 7, 3, 6. That's the code you need right now. But we'll, we will be back here at 920. That's right. Country 107.3, mornings with Joe and Jonna. We've got a brand new Seize the Deal going live tomorrow. I'm sorry, Friday. Friday at 9 a.m. The Seize the Deal is for La Fontana Coast in Sea Isle City. Yeah. 
The deal is you can get a fifty dollars gift certificate gift certificate for just twenty five dollars. Okay. Find out more at seize the deal dot